and welcome to a 10 ways to fill your sketchbook kind of video. Was this an excuse to fill up my sketchbook while also making content? Yeah. But regardless, the first way is using sticky notes. I've seen a lot of people do these with their like really neon colorful sticky notes and I really wish I could do that. But I unfortunately only have these very plain ones on me right now so we're gonna use these. Over this drawing of Mochizo from Tamako Market. But like adding sticky notes or like stickers or just elements other than the page that you're drawing on can like really create contrast and break up your sketchbook page so it just looks more interesting. You can do stuff like just coloring the sticky notes or just coloring the background. I actually tried that here, but it kind of looked bland, so I like kind of changed it up a bit. You can do like a grayscale background and then like really colorful sticky notes, like inverted colors on the sticky notes and then regular colors on the like sketchbook page. I'm kind of tempted to do that actually. That sounds really cool. But if you have more colorful sticky notes, those could make your page look a lot more interesting than whatever I'm using right here. They're just a fun way to make certain parts of your page like pop out. Speaking of pop out, I like kind of curled the corners of the sticky notes like in. And I think it looks really cool and like layered, if that makes sense. Here's a finished page though. I honestly really like it. Uh, but yeah, that's the first way. Let's move on. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is using posts that you see on social media, whether it be like Instagram or Pinterest, just open an app, scroll through your homepage and look at the posts that there and are, and then draw them and try to make like a consistent layout that looks nice. Here's a rose that I drew. It was the first image that popped up whenever I went on Instagram. And as you can see here, I tried to stick to a pinkish and reddish scheme of things. This post was from Dobo Chobo. I just thought the picture was really pretty and it matched the theme. The next one I may have chosen because I saw her hair and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to draw this. Also, it was red, so like it matched the theme. And then directly under that was Tyler the Creator. I really like um, how this video looks. Even though it's technically a video and not a picture, I just kind of grabbed certain frames from the video and drew them instead. But yeah, this is good for things that like you wouldn't expect to draw. It's also good if you want to learn how to like lay out things to make them look nice. I think there's a word for that. Oh yeah, formatting. I no, that's not the word. I there's just there's a word, but I don't know it. But um, coloring this was so fun. I was kind of hesitant for going like for the red skin because like the lighting was like. Red red right but it was kind of ambitious to just go in like directly with red but i tried it out and i really like it so yeah and again i like tried to go for like that warmer tone throughout this page and i also threw some hints of green in there and i honestly really like how it turned this out this is one of my favorite pages in my sketchbook i just really like the, co the co cohesiveness of it all um, i'm very good at speaking D did you know that unrelated but if you hear that obnoxious fan in the background it's because it's like extremely hot outside but yeah here's the finished piece i hope you like it again this is from instagram so if you don't have instagram go on pinterest go on twitter go on youtube i don't know how those last ones would work but you get the point all right so the next idea is to literally just scribble and then draw what you kind of see in the scribble i went in with pen here which is probably something you should not do i don't know why i don't know what i was thinking and then i kind of sketched what i saw in that image which was um in this case a horse Girl, i don't i don't draw horses that much i i actually don't draw horses at all so i don't know wh uh, what came over me i guess my inner horse girl is coming out this is my equestrian awakening honestly this page looks really bad but it's a sketchbook so you can't really go wrong with please it. don't expect every single page in your sketch book to look like this majestic art piece again it's a sketchbook every page doesn't have to look magnificent oh by the way this is kind of actually no it is related but i'm gonna do a sketchbook tour pretty soon because i'm almost done with this sketchbook so that's great All right, so this next one has to do with music. So you are gonna need like some kind of music streaming service, obviously YouTube, Spotify, if you have a literal record player, CD player, something like that, just like some kind of music. Or you could write your own lyrics, but like the premise is basically to write lyrics down. You can interpret this any way you want to. I just shuffled my playlist and the first song that came out was Bag of Bones by Mitski. But oh my gosh, my biggest recommendation for this is Mitski. Her music just has like the most beautiful lyrics ever. And I think it's like really wonderful to like try and put into illustration. My favorite song from her is probably Your Best American Girl for um, reasons. Um, got a little off track there, but basically with every song that you listen to, you can add the lyrics of them and like, I guess, sketch what you're kind of feeling while listening to the song. I don't know. I do this sometimes. It's pretty fun. I didn't really know what to say about this, but I think you can just like draw like illustrations based on the song along with the lyrics. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense. But yeah, you can kind of like layer on with like the different lyrics and like you can like mesh the lyrics together. And I don't know. I just like, I feel like 
it's really expressive and cool i know a lot of people do like vent art in this way but like i don't know it doesn't have to be like depressing or anything it can just be like the song it doesn't matter i'm explaining things that don't need to be explained and then i kept going i kind of lost track of what songs i listened to but i remember i took screenshots so i'll just put them on screen but yeah i don't know i think it's just really cool to have a bunch of lyrics and words just on the same page even if they're completely unrelated it's like it's chaotic but that's what we're here for of course this is very messy so if you're like a neat person who doesn't really want like chaos in their sketchbook i guess this one isn't for you actually no you could give it a shot in like a neater aspect you can make it like a very symmetrical layout something like that but i honestly prefer the chaos method because i just think it looks cool oh yeah but here's how the page turned out All right, so this idea was to just like draw people at school, but then I realized like after that a lot of you are on summer break, a lot of you aren't even in school. So I was like, yeah, this one probably isn't very good. So I changed it to just drawing people around you. It could be your family members. It could be people you see on the street. It could be people you see at a coffee shop, in the airport, wherever you are and you have your sketchbook with you. I drew most of these when I was in class, so I drew people in my class. But I think this is really important if you want to focus on diversifying the things you draw and the people you draw. I'm a firm believer that all good artists include diversity somewhere in their drawings. I believe that no matter how good your skill level is, if you refuse to draw people that aren't light-skinned and skinny, then I don't really see your artworks the same, if you know what I mean. I think drawing people of different colors, of different shapes, different sizes, different genders, different just pe like different people is very important if you want to be a good artist. But yeah, these are just some different spreads I've done because I've done like multiple of people I know in like my classes and stuff, or people I don't know and I just see them, but yeah. <laughs> What I find intriguing is that I've never seen like anyone in the art community use Shindon Maker, which is weird because Shindon Maker is so fun. It's this website where it has a bunch of like diagnoses where you like put in your name and it'll give you like randomly generated information like based on whatever you clicked on. A lot of their quizzes are very weird, but some of them are really nice, especially the ones that are OC generators basically. I think a lot of you guys would like this website. As long as you dodge the NSFW stuff, I think it's a really great website for OC ideas and stuff like that. Character designing with this is really fun because it'll give you randomized descriptions and you can just draw them. This description that I'll put on screen, it was a Genshin Impact OC generator, so like the things are very Genshin themed. If you want like non-Genshin themed ones, obviously they're on there somewhere. But for the Genshin one that I just took, um, the rarity is four stars, the gender is she, them. I think they meant to say pronouns, I don't know. <laughs> their element is cryo or ice, their weapon is a sword, their focus is a hybrid, which is a healer and a DPS in this one, and their home region is Inazuma, which is Japan. Kind of messed around with some color palettes i thought were interesting so i decided to give them like a darker skin tone and like i think i actually don't remember what kind of hair color i gave them but it was very blue her whole like color palette was very blue because i there wasn't there wasn't much like um information to go off of and i just saw cry and i was like okay blue a lot of the other ones go a lot more in depth I just like kind of did the second one I saw because I thought it would be fun but again I was like kind of going really fast with this but if you want to go like slower if you want to like actually create a character that you really like um, maybe go more in detail with this mess around with the style but still follow the Shindon maker originally I think it's a really fun challenge besides the fact that I gave her the most baseline design ever I really like this character I like how their design came out and I hope you do too in some way but yeah here's how it came out i actually really like it I, I i especially like the legs and like the shading i did on the limbs i don't know i think it looks cool now that i look at it i actually really hate the face but it's fine let's move on <laughs> Okay, so this next one is something I saw on TikTok. It's from the creator Stained Hands, I'm pretty sure. Where you kind of scribble on a piece of paper. Well, you don't have to scribble. You just color in a piece of paper with crayons. And then you go over it with black paint. And then you can etch a design into the black paint with a sharp object, like a palette knife or a mechanical pencil. I used a mechanical pencil with no lead because I didn't know that you could use a palette knife. But like after rewatching the video, I realized that they used a palette knife. If you have toothpicks lying around, those would be fine too. I don't know, just like a sharp object. Um, don't hurt yourself though like not too sharp but this was my first time so it does look a little weird i honestly really don't like it i didn't know what i was doing i should have came into it with a better idea but it was fun nonetheless and i think it's something that you guys should try and uh honestly it looks really cool in your sketchbook so i think it's a good idea for if you're bored and you have some free time i just love to watch the colors reveal themselves from underneath the paint while you scratch it just looks so nice here i kind of scraped away at them with like a ruler i think i was using i don't even know what i was doing at that point i was really tired but yeah <laughs> 
This one's gonna go by really fast because I don't really have much to say and I didn't record much either But this is basically just like drawing whatever's in front of you It could be your workspace, it could be like just some random clutter Whatever, whatever is there, just draw it wherever you are with your sketchbook Just like draw the environment you're in I did draw my desk because I was too lazy to get but up But I don't know, I found it fun Um, I actually don't really like this drawing because I messed up on some of it And it just looks kind of weird But um, but yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory I will say that I accidentally um, colored on the back of this and like now it has a bunch of marker stains on it that i'm not happy about but yeah apologies these last couple of drawings are really rushed because um i was more proud of the earlier ones or like i like knew what i was gonna do for those but this next one i kind of like doing it was the prompt list one like a prompt list for like a month i know mermaid just ended but i searched up june art prompt lists i i don't know why there isn't one in june they put one in may which is literally the busiest month in my life and for most people's lives because that's when like finals are but uh, i don't know who whoever thought mermaid was a good idea what about mer june huh i don't know i know there's inktober i don't know if there's any other ones um i there might be i think there's hugh vember i don't know what there what else is but there. i just searched up monthly prompt list and i got goldfish so that was what this drawing was i drew a human as a goldfish i actually tried drawing a goldfish as for at first like just a goldfish but then it like looked really weird so i drew a human as a goldfish wait no, wait, no a, a goldfish as a human same thing same thing but here he is let me know in the comments what i should name him i don't think it'll turn him into an oc or anything but just for fun All right, so this spread made a lot more um, sense in my head, um, at least the way I described it in my head. But basically just filling a spread with a single person, I guess. You could do different looks that that person does, different things about them. Um, you could do like your friends. I was like thinking of doing one of my friends and then I completely forgot about it. So um, this is Galore on Instagram. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think on TikTok too. I don't know, I'll put a socials on screen. But I came across this page and I was like, I have to draw this guy. So I did. <laughs> Again, he just looks really cool. So I had to draw and him. I ended up taking up two pages i was originally just gonna say like oh one page i think i drew this sketch a while ago but i just like colored it in there but yeah this could be one page this could be two pages i did a spread because i think he would look nice but i had a lot of fun filling it up with like different pictures of him or like different like parts of his pictures i don't even know how to describe but it yeah i had a lot of fun coloring this it was it was a lot of color and like time i guess because i didn't realize how many different things i had put on this page but yeah i really like the one on the right i don't really like the page on the left as much i think i shouldn't have gone with hot pink as the background and i just like how the green and the yellow and the blue look together on the right but yeah let me know what you think and that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you got some ideas while watching this feel free to send me any of the artworks that you made while using the ideas from this video you can dm me on instagram pinterest i, I don't know what else but, uh yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye